Joseph Sikora is a familiar face to television and film viewers thanks to a two-decade acting career boasting dozens of screen credits. You may recognize him in TV hits including Lost, Ozark, Boardwalk Empire, True Detective, and many more, while his big screen work includes roles in such films as the Julia Roberts starring My Best Friend's Wedding and director Martin Scorsese Shutter Island. For viewers of Starz's hit power, however, Sikora is most recognized for his inimitable performance as New York gangster Tommy Egan. He has gained a legion of fans and many want to know more about the actor. Here are 10 things you probably didn't know about Joseph Sikora. He is from Chicago. Joseph Sikora's character, Tommy Egan, might have found himself in a new city on Power Book 4, Force, but it turns out that Sikora himself is a Chicago native. He was born in Chicago and lived in both the Norwood Park and Jefferson Park neighborhoods. He attended Notre Dame High School which was an all-boys school, and he graduated in 1994. He is proud of his European roots. Although he was born in America, Sikora is of Polish descent and is deeply proud of his European roots. Speaking on the Meal of Your Life podcast with Billy in 2017, Sikora said, My grandmother was very sick when I was 10, and she was the love of my life, and that was my whole identity, my grandmother. My grandmother, she's Northwest Side Polish American, and she was the one who taught me a little bit of Polish when I was a kid. That was my identity. I'm a Polish American because my grandmother is. The language, I love the language. It was like our own secret language. He previously admitted to a fan on Twitter how he could speak a bit of Polish, but said his bilingual skills were not great. He began acting as a child. When he was growing up, his mother took him to an open call for a Christmas carol in Chicago, and he was hooked. The performance was the biggest in the city. The experience taught him that singing wasn't exactly his thing. However, he was a talented performer, and Tara Lonzo, the casting director for the play, suggested he audition for an upcoming production of The Little Prince. Though getting to rehearsals was tiring, because of the far distance from his home, the role helped launch his career. His first TV role was in an episode of Roomies. His first role in a TV show was in an episode of Roomies in 1987. He was only nine years old when he appeared in this show, and it helped to confirm that this was the career that he wanted to pursue. He credits Tom Wilkinson with giving him his breakthrough moment. He told Untitled Magazine that his breakthrough moment came while working on the HBO series called Normal with Tom Wilkinson. According to Sikora, Wilkinson gave him valuable career advice that he still remembers to this day. As he explained, he said something like, all you have to do is think the line and the camera will read it. Sikora took that advice to mean that once you commit to a role, the lines come out easily on camera. He nearly missed out on Tommy Egan. Although Sikora is now associated with Tommy and will be for the foreseeable future thanks to Power, he nearly missed out on the role of a lifetime. He was unable to audition during the original Power auditions in 2013 because he was getting married, but he got a second opportunity to go for the role. Speaking to South African publication Channel 24 back in 2017, Sikora said, I believe that they already had their final choice, but then Amari Hardwick signed onto the project and they had to go through the audition process again. Luckily, this time I was available. Sikora explained it was a long audition process that took about three weeks. He had to audition in New York for Kemp and director Anthony Hemingway, who shot the first two episodes of Power. Then he had another audition in Los Angeles with Hardwick because the producers wanted to see if the two actors had the on-screen chemistry needed for such a complex dynamic. He considers himself a theater actor. While he has gained widespread fame through his portrayal of Tommy Egan in the Power series on Stars, he considers himself, first and foremost, a theater actor. After all, that's where he got his start as a child. He told nerds that geek, I am a theater actor, originally. And I still prepare in the same way, I do a lot of homework at home, and I get up, and I show up being prepared. He is an ensemble member of the Chicago Shattered Globe Theater Company. He has also won a number of awards for his work on the stage including an ovation award which he won for his role in a Los Angeles-based play. He was a graffiti artist as a teen. Sikora has been doing graffiti art since he was 11. He told Ricky Smiley Morning Show that he was part of a group known as JS4, and some of their graffiti can even be found in the streets of Chicago to this day. He also spoke to Chicago Magazine about his graffiti days. He explained that the group was made up of a diverse set of friends who are still close. It's a great and diverse group of guys that actually, when I was growing up, 
consisted of guys who were very straight-laced to very involved gangbangers and gangbangers on both sides. Folks and people, but they were all in the same graffiti crew. The subculture of graffiti was a strange and unique opportunity to bring people together. He would be a firefighter if he wasn't an actor. If he had to choose a different career, Sakura would have been a firefighter. He told Untitled Magazine, pretty sure I would be a Chicago fireman, but I guess I could be into acting and still be a fireman. There are a few excellent actors in Chicago and New York that I've met throughout my career who are also working firemen. This isn't the first time Sakura has spoken about the alternate direction his career might have taken. In an interview with Chicago Magazine, he explained that his neighborhoods growing up are firefighter enclaves and that being a fireman was the clear path to take where he's from. He regularly attends church. Sakura was raised as a Catholic and his faith remains an important part of his life. He attends church whenever he can alongside his wife. He told Chicago Magazine that he goes to church in Brooklyn and when he is back home in Chicago, even though there are differences in the way that the services are held across both churches. He attended a Catholic high school and his father also worked in a church when he was younger.